and welcome to this year's chair dance tutorial. Okay, please don't let this acrobatic move scare you away. If you are a beginner, this choreography is absolutely beginner friendly. There will be some challenging moves, but it's absolutely doable. I will guide you through it step by step. And if there really is something that you can't do, that's no problem at all. You can always change the choreography and make it your own. And this year I'm super excited to teach this choreography because I put a lot of hard work into it. I wanted to make it as amazing as possible. So you have the perfect present for your partner on Christmas or just for you just to feel sexy in Christmas time. Also, this is the first time I choreographed the whole song because a lot of people were wishing for it. If you don't like such long tutorial, there's two parts. You can also just do the first part. And also if you are a beginner, I recommend it because the second part is a little bit more challenging. But like I said, it's absolutely doable, so just try it. So for this tutorial, try to find the most stable chair in your house. Just test it a little bit, make sure it's very stable, have a backrest, no armrest, really important. You can do this in high heels, but you can also try first on socks. And if you're wondering why my high heels look so strange, I put some socks on the front because we're doing a lot of slides on the ground and my shoes are really grippy. So it's not really nice to slide on the ground, but I really don't recommend it because it's a little bit dangerous. If you're trying this, you're really doing this on your own risk. I would better recommend to have some high heels that slide well on the ground or just to try it on socks. And also you need some knee pads. You can of course try without, but for me it really doesn't work because my knees are super sensitive. We will do some moves on the ground and because I didn't have any knee pads, I just took the pads of my bra, put it into my leggings and it works quite well. Just wear something you feel sexy and you feel comfortable in and make sure you warmed up. This morning when I wanted to record this, I felt very stiff so I thought why not record a nice warm up. I made a yoga warm up especially to do before chair dance and I really recommend doing it. It will take you about 15 to 20 minutes and you can find it in the link up here. And when you're ready with that, come back to this video and let's begin. You start on the left side of your chair and if you're dancing this for your partner, maybe you want to wear a sexy dessou and you can wear something on top, maybe like a cardigan or something and you have some time in the beginning so you can take off the top, present your sexy outfit and then when she starts singing, you take one step with your left to the front of the chair and from here you're leaning down with an arch back, bring your left hand on the chair. And after you're doing this step, you just with your left hand slide along your left buttocks and then you bring your hand down. Perfect. And from here, your hips go side, side, side. Then bring your right hand on the chair and turn over your left. Your left arm comes over your head. Open your legs, you're now facing a little bit diagonal to the side. And your heels are always lifted in this position. Always try to point your feet. And from here we do one chest circle and then you go down with an arch back of course. Throw your head up, bring your left knee to your right. At the same time your right finger comes onto your mouth. She's singing we keep it quiet and your left hand can slide on the inside of your thigh and you go left right. Perfect. Go one more time a little bit faster. So we start with the step to the front. Five, six, seven, eight, step, and down, side, 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 over the left, open, chest, roll, down, and up, and together, left, right. Perfect. From here, you stay with your hands on the chair, you have your weight in your arms, and then your hips slide down, and you bring your hip to the side, up, and to the right, up. Perfect. Then you open your hip, you do a little hip circle, close it, do another hip circle. And with the second hip circle, you can throw your head back. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. To the left, to the right, circle and circle. And from here, a jump, bring your weight onto your hands and 
stretch your legs apart. From here, bring them together and stretch out your right leg. Point your foot, of course, diagonal to the side and diagonal to the right side. Bring your leg down and then go all the way down and throw your head up. We do this one more time. From hip side to side, five, six, seven, eight, side, side, hip roll, hip roll, open, together, to the left, to the right, down, and up, and then you turn over your right, at the same time you're turning your head. Now you're in this position, your right hand is on your chair, and then you slide your legs apart, you go in a little fake split. You can do the split like this, like more like a woman's split, or you can also do a little bit like this. Depends what you like more. And only go as far as it's possible for you. You come back and you do one upper body circle. Perfect. We do the whole thing one more time from the beginning. Five, six, seven, eight. Step and down, side, side, side. To the left, open, chest roll, down. Throw it up, legs together, left, right, down. Left, right, hip circle, hip circle, open, together, left, right, down, up, and turn. And going deep, you have some time for that, come back up, circle your upper body. And then after the circle, you turn around over your left side, so you're sitting with your left cheek now on the chair, you're leaning all the way back, bringing your hand to the ground and stretching out your legs. Now is the first nice acrobatic move. I'm already with my head in the Christmas tree, but it doesn't matter. Your legs come together, your knees open, and then you're opening your legs. Point your feet. So you don't have to be able to do a split for this one. It's just a little bit of a fake split. It looks like a split from the front, but it really isn't. We do this one more time. You can hold on to the back of your chair with your right. And you're really on the side with your left butt cheek. Your legs are straight. Then your feet stay together. Your knees come apart all the way. And then when your feet are close to your buttocks, you're just opening. And one leg is going a bit further down and the other is coming up. And then you can lean your head back a little bit and your right hand can go on the inside of your thigh. From here, bring your legs together, bring them down, bring your hips into the middle of your chair, then bring your legs up again, bend them, straighten them, and then your left leg bends and your right leg bends, and then half. You lift your left leg and your head fall down. Perfect. One more time. From here, so you now straight on your chair, you bring your legs up, straighten them, left leg bend, right leg bend, keep your feet pointed, and down. Perfect. Then stretch out your right leg, just to get the momentum, so you can turn, and then you directly come down onto your knees. Are you ready to move on? Don't forget, if this is too fast for you, you can always stop the tutorial and go back and do each part as often as you like. But I think we can go a little bit further from here. Here we're doing a hip movement. It's called the pony movement, or I call it the pony movement. This is what you need your knee pads for. So you're moving your hip forward, knees go apart and together. It's not really easy on this ground. Maybe you can do it better than me, but just try to make it look sexy. I recommend to practice in front of the mirror and also if the ground is slippy, that's really good. Then you can just open your knees, bring your hip to the front and then ground your back a little bit, bring them together. Arch your back, slide your knees apart and round your back together. I think we're doing this three times. I have to check on the music. I think it's two times slow. 
and then in the end one come fast and you can throw your head up a little bit perfect i would say we do this whole thing one more time from the hips side to side five six seven eight side side open 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 legs close right leg left leg go down come up and turn go into your fake split slowly come back up turn your upper body and then turn to your left bring your left hand all the way down come to the side hold on to the back of your chair and then your feet stay together feet are pointed knees apart open slide on the inside then bring your right hand to the ground legs together legs down hips move to the middle of your chair bring your legs up straighten left leg right leg and down then turn and pony pony one more time now from here you stay on your right knee you turn over to your left stretch out your left leg look over your left shoulder and your left foot your toes are making a circle on the ground right arm is coming around also then go onto your toes here your knees are open and you can come with your left hand from the back and in between your legs bring your hip forward very sexy movement if you find this too extreme you can of course just come around you don't have to use the hand just do whatever you feel comfortable with but if you feel comfortable with being very sexy you can try this move then from here come onto your knees keep your legs together turn over your right and then you are here come onto your toes again open your knees and your right arm comes from the back over your head and you go down perfect one more time so we are here five six seven eight make the circle with a straight leg come around touch yourself turn over your right and then from here come here again onto your toes your left knee can actually stay on the ground and your right arm is coming over and you go deep then from here come onto your knees in front of your chair bring your hands to the ground and then throw your left leg all the way up go down with your arms let your upper body slowly come down bend your leg and then bring it to the ground and then come back up you try this a little bit faster five six seven eight throw it up go down and back up and then sit down onto your heels and from here we're just going to do a final move of part one you're just doing an eight with your hair two times and you can practice this by bringing your hands onto your head and just guiding them into an eight so i'll show you from the front you bring your head to the left and down and then you look up and then you bring your head to the right and down and look up and try to make this a little bit faster and then we do this just a couple of times bam 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 and that's already the end of part one well done we do the whole part one one more time slowly and after you can practice with the music let's go five six seven eight when december comes i bet you want to over your left open chest roll go down come up we keep it quiet whatever we do left right hip and hair open close right left down come all the way down and up turn go into your split come on up circle hip and come over your left go all the way down onto your side let's stay together and open slide bring your legs together down up stretch left right fall come on up turn pony pony and quick left leg 
Come around, turn to your side, turn, go down. Throw your left leg up, go down, come on up, and here, here, here. Perfect, have fun trying it with the music. And don't forget, go back as often as you like and practice each section as often as you need to. Well done everyone, welcome to the second part of this tutorial. So from here, after the hair shake, you bring your right hand behind you and your left arm comes over your head from the back and then goes along your body down. At the same time, you're doing a little body wave. You're bringing your hip out and back, out and back. Perfect, one more time. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two. And then from here, bring your hands onto your chair, come onto your feet, open, and do two hip circles. One, two. Then bring your knees to one side, to the other side, open, come up, and turn. Sit down onto your chair. Perfect. From here, throw your legs apart. So you take the outside of it, the back of your hand, and throw it against the inside of your knees. At the same time, your legs open. Don't forget to lift your heels. Your arms come all the way up and then your knees come together. You bring your knees in first and then bring your feet in to the outside. Again, knees first and to the inside again. At the same time, you can look a little bit to the side and bring your hands down along your body. Five, six, seven, eight, open, and to the inside, to the outside, to the inside. Perfect. Hands on chair and the same move that we did in part one. Right leg straight, left leg straight, diagonal to the side, down. And again, we're going down and throwing our head up. But this time from here, your left leg is doing a circle on the ground. Keep your leg as straight as possible. Your foot is pointed all the way to the back. And then you lean back. Your left arm is coming all the way back. Make yourself as long as possible. Then over your head, bring your foot, bring your leg in. And then slide along your thigh, along your left buttocks. Perfect. One more time. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, open, and knees together, knees apart, knees together, right, left, down, come up, make a circle, and try to lift your heel here, very important, lean back, look up, over your head, the knees together, and then slide, and try to make a little movement with your upper body. Just like a little wave. So you bring your chest out and back. Chest out and back. Perfect. And from here, slide your hands again to your knee. And then open. At the same time, you're doing a head roll. And then you bring your right knee in towards the ground. Point your foot. And then you can lean back. Try to go as far as possible. If it's too much for you, you can just hold onto your chair. But if you can, you can come all the way down onto the ground and bring your left hand into your hair. And then you have a really nice pose here. And from here, you're coming back up, over crossing your feet. And then you can turn over your left and your right heel with your left hand on your chair. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Open. Together, open, together, right, left, down, and up, circle, all the way back, over your head, wave, open, knee in, and all the way back. Come up, over across your feet, and you're right here. And now from here, you're always arching your back and then you're bending the right knee, the left knee, and then the right knee and you come up again. Step your left leg onto your chair, your hand is on your knee 
and your hip lifts and falls. Then you make a little kick, you step over your chair, you sit down, try to keep your heels lifted. And then from here, you bring your legs onto the back of your chair. And then you lean all the way back, bring your hands to the ground. And then you lift your legs, feet are pointed, and you open. Perfect. Bring your legs back together onto your chair and then grab on the inside of your chair. Stretch out your legs and try to go into a split back onto your sitting position. From here, you stand up and you move your chair to the back. You turn around to your right. Go one more time. From, I would say directly from this position, you are down here. You're coming up, over across your feet, turning, you right here, and then bend your right, bend your left, come up, step onto your chair, and lift your hip and down. Kick, go over, bring your knees onto the back of your chair, go all the way back, look back, bring your legs up, open. Bring them together and down. Work in between your chair. Come back into a sitting position. Move your chair back. Always arch your back. So also when you're standing up here, you always try to be sexy by really bringing your buttocks out, arching your back, and bringing your chair back. And then turning to your right. Your right leg is bent. And we're almost done. It's just a couple more steps from here. Actually, just one more step. <laughs> so from here, you're grabbing on the left back side of your chair. So then you're turning your chair on here, turn it all the way around and then it's right in front of you. So you just turning the chair on this one. Then it will be right in front of you. So you're holding here and then lifting all the three feet and just turning on here all the way around and then you have it in front of you. So if you want to try this last acrobatic pose, I would recommend to do it with someone together. So someone can help you and you feel more safe. But if you're doing this on your own, please be very careful and mind that you're doing this on your own rest. If you feel like this is too much for you, you don't want to do it, then you can just do another pose. You can, for example, after you turn the chair, you can just step one leg on here and do a nice pose or whatever you want to do. If you want to try the pose, push the chair a little bit away from you. Then you bend over, of course, arching your back. Bring your hands about in the middle of your chair to the sides. And then you lean forward with your hip until your hip is on the back of your chair, bring your legs up, so now you're completely straight with your body and then you bend in your arms, you're leaning forward with your chest onto your chair and at the same time your right leg bends and your left leg comes up. And it's very important for it to look good that your toes stay on your left leg. So they're still touching, 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 touching. Point your feet and all the way up. And don't be scared here to come all the way up. You can really lift as high as possible, you won't fall. You can even try this one time without the bent leg. You can try to bring both of your feet all the way up. And still it's very safe, still you're not falling. So you can also do this in the end if you like that more. Or you can do our pose and bend your leg. It's also a nice pose. And that's the end pose of the choreography. You're done. So we do this part two one time from the beginning. And then you can try it with the music. Let's go. So we start on the ground. And then from here, hands on chair. Come onto your feet. Pull yourself Towards your chair, open, two hip circles, 
One, two, knees to the left, right, open and turn. Open, knees together, apart, together, hands on chair, right leg straight, left leg down and up. Make a circle, go all the way back and then along your buttocks, open, left knee down, go all the way back, come on up, over cross and turn, right knee bend, left knee bend, come up, left leg on chair, hip, go all the way to chair, come down, knees on back of your chair, go all the way back, straighten your legs, open, close, grip in between your knees, open and sit, stand up, and turn to your right. Turn your chair and from here hands on chair, hips down and come into your final pose. Well done everyone, thank you so much for joining this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, let me know in the comments below how it went and if you're dancing this for someone, don't forget to really enjoy performing it because if you enjoy it, the person watching will enjoy it also. After Christmas, you can let me know in the comments below how your partner liked it. I would really love to hear from you. And I want to say a quick thank you for everyone who was supporting me throughout the whole year. I got so many sweet comments and it really motivated me to keep going because it's not always easy. I'm doing all my content for free at the moment. And yeah, I'm really thankful for everyone motivating me. And here's the video. If you want to practice with the music, click on that link. And I wish you a happy and sexy Christmas. Lots of love, your Sandy.